hi everyone you can see this is the apparatus to find out the planck constant by led or we call this as a led characteristic trainer so within this apparatus or the kit we have the voltmeter and the ammeter so ammeter has two ranges here 2000 micro ampere to 20 milli ampere we can switch uh, towards micro ampere or milli ampere and here uh, we have to connect the voltmeter across these two terminals positive and negative terminal and the voltage uh, we can set about 0 to 5 volt at 150 milli ampere of the current and uh, here are the different types of leds led means light emitting diode uh, so this is the symbol for led this is for red color uh, as we can have the terminals here the colors according to the led uh, this is red led yellow and this is green and blue so we have to note down the corresponding voltage and current across these two these all different colors of the led uh, so that uh, we can uh, calculate the planck's constant once we note down the current and voltage readings so let us make the connections first first we have to connect the uh, dc power supply that is voltage uh, negative terminal to the negative terminal of the voltmeter and then positive terminal to the positive terminal of the voltmeter okay so next we have to connect here ammeter positive terminal of the ammeter to the positive terminal and here the positive or negative terminal to the negative terminal of the ammeter so next what we have to do uh, we have to connect this uh, terminal we can vary the Uh, value of current and voltage across different leds these are uh, this is for the ground connection so we can uh, use this patch cord uh, we can connect across all different uh, colors of the led and note down the current and voltage reading so if i will uh, make the connections to the red led then we can uh, note down the voltage and current reading for this led so let us first switch on the device so right now uh, we have not applied any voltage so there is a read, uh, zero reading across voltmeter and ammeter once i will apply the voltage between the range of 0 to 5 uh, there is a increase in the current so you can keep uh, the voltage between 0 to 5 volt so you can fix this uh, voltage or you can apply the constant power supply and you can uh, note down the current across uh, different colors of the led so i am going to keep it at 2 volt so i have kept the voltage at 3 volt you can see the uh, uh, blue color is glowing very brightly so comparing to uh, when i kept the voltage of 2 volt and the current is going to be maximum here 2.43 milli ampere so let us uh, once again check for the different colors for uh, the 3 volt of constant power supply you can see uh, the intensity is more comparing to the applied voltage uh, of uh, 3 volt to 2 volt so here uh, the intensity 
of the green color is also maximum and the current is also maximum so 2.78 milli ampere so you can observe here green color is also the intensity is maximum it is the current is 5.47 milli ampere so you can observe uh, the red color the current is 5.46 milli ampere so you can also check the voltage and current readings uh, for the same led as the voltage increases you can observe the increase in current and also intensity of the LED uh, color is also increasing. So if I will keep it at maximum voltage, you can observe the intensity and the current. So first we have to tablet. So we have to note down the data for voltage and current for different colors so here is the data for the yellow color uh, so we have to note down the voltage and corresponding current for uh, yellow color led uh, up to 10 to 15 readings we have to note down once we uh, have these values we can plot the graph once we plot the graph of current and voltage uh, we will have the curve like this and uh, this is the knee voltage uh, so it is about 2.06 for yellow color so for different colors you are going to have the knee voltage once you plot the current versus voltage graph so here is the formula to calculate the Planck's constant this is the standard formula e is equal to h into nu uh, so as we know energy is equal to electron volt so then h nu equal to we can write e in electron volt so then we can modify the formula and get h is equal to electron volt by uh, nu frequency so here there is a relation between uh, speed of light and wavelength and the wave uh, frequency so nu is equal to c by lambda Put that in this formula you will get Planck's constant is equal to electron volt uh, into lambda by C so lambda is the wavelength of uh, different colors C speed of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and E is equal to charge of the electron so then Planck's constant uh, value you will get about 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules per second so here are the values of uh, new voltage for different colors red yellow green blue and the standard wavelength of all the colors so then you can use this formula and calculate the Planck's constant so this is how you can do this experiment